Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we are following today. The Saginaw City Council recently voted to change bylaws in order to create a position for a student. Government for Tomorrow is working with the City of Saginaw to select a student that will hold an official non-voting board position on Saginaw's Downtown Development Authority. The goal is to fill that position by the fall. The parents of accused Oxford High School shooter Ethan Crumbly do back in court today. Jennifer and James Crumbly have a pretrial hearing. Both are charged with involuntary manslaughter in the high school shooting that killed four students and injured many others. Student athletes can get a free sports physical at Ascension in Saginaw today. It's for students 14 and up. It will be provided at the Orthopedic Medicine Building at 4677 Town Center Road. Each student needs with them a complete medical history and signed consent form by a parent or guardian. You do need to set up an appointment and parental guidance is required. All right, here's Matthew. He's tracking the latest in your forecast. Thank you, Blake. We do have a little bit of a slick start on this Tuesday morning for our southern counties. So that light coating of snow on Monday has seen some of that effects felt this morning, too. But we only have a few lingering snow showers on the backside of that system as it leaves, and that'll only be a morning thing for today. By the afternoon, we start to dry out, and your first one five hour by hour even shows some clearing skies uh, later on this evening, closer to dinner and sundown. It's actually looking at some uh, drier and brighter weather there, but still going to feel a little cool with a northwest wind overnight. We have uh, mostly clear skies. That means a cold night for or cold uh, morning uh, rather on Wednesday morning at that bus stop. Wind chills down into the lower 20s, but then by Wednesday afternoon, we're back to the 50s and seeing sunshine through the morning and most of the afternoon with more rain moving in Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So that rain is going to look to come in from the west closer to midnight and actually the timing of this slightly convenient in the overnight hours between Wednesday and Thursday because Thursday morning only a few scattered showers and already by the late morning on Thursday, we're dried out with sunshine coming back in and looking at a sunny day on Thursday after that early morning rain. So all in all, uh, not too bad. Now, as far as an early look at rainfall totals go, looking on average around a quarter of an inch across the area. So uh, fairly consistent across the board for us. So not a soaking rain, but still good enough if you want to get some fertilizer down in the lawn on Wednesday, or if you have any plants that you just put in some pots and you want to get some water in there too, uh, set them out on Wednesday night. 70 forecast is also warmer on Thursday, looking at lower 60s for your highs back to the middle 50s on Friday, then this upcoming weekend, the 70s make a return with some chances for some showers and some thunderstorms. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.